Today I'm going to talk about home blessing and the absolute power in blessing your home, blessing the atmosphere, because you live there all the time. And it can be a heaven or it can be a hell. And a lot of that has to do with the way you feel about it and the blessing that you put out. I had an apartment one time. It was a long, long time ago. It was in the early 1970s in Nashville, Tennessee. And I hated that apartment. Everything in my mind was wrong with that apartment. Kitchen too small, bedroom too small, no living room to speak of, and then noisy neighbors. Well, over time, I got to be great friends with those neighbors, and I started to enjoy their noise. I could even hear their laughter through the wall, and it made me laugh. You know, thinking back on that now, that was one of the greatest blessings that I've had. It makes me smile in my soul. But I started out hating it, and I ended up blessing it. I was in Haiti a few years ago, and I was with a family that had a hut uh, with a dirt floor, and how proud they were of that home. They showed me around. They were so very proud so proud to show me the outhouse that was a distance away from the home. And I thought they truly are blessed because they were so filled with love there for each other, for their friends, for their family, for their general outlook on life. And the walls of that dwelling soaked up that blessing and the walls of your dwelling can soak up your blessing too. It can be a haven. It can be a heaven. And it all starts with you. Your attitude towards it and the energy that you're putting out. The thought of a home has been, is, or what it can be. It stirs up wonderful images loved ones gathered around, familiar surroundings in which to retreat, a cozy atmosphere in which hopes and dreams are shared from the heart. Wherever you call your home, bless it. Don't curse it. Bless it with the thought of God's love and God's peace. And you will literally dwell in that atmosphere of God's love and God's peace. And whether your home is large or whether it is small, a single dwelling or part of a large complex, envision it as a haven for you of peace, a safe place in which you find yourself, a comfortable place to be who you are. And you'll welcome others into your home with a warmth and a love and a pride. Not so much on the possessions that you own, but the energy that it has within the four walls. You'll encourage them to express ideas that are positive in that atmosphere, just as you have. And they'll soak up that atmosphere and they'll take it home with them. You pray with me today that everyone that watches this, every home in which this is viewed, that it is a place where God's children learn and grow at their own pace in an atmosphere of loving acceptance. I pray that your home is blessed today. I pray that you bless it and you attract God's blessing to you by the circulation of what you're putting out. I pray that your home is a haven of peace, a haven of security. God bless your home.